Greetings everyone, this is First Centurion 753 with the third day of Gettysburg conflict at Benners Hill. And Ooh, we are really outnumbered here. The Confederates have been spotted moving on Benners Hill. We already we're already fighting along Cemetery Ridge and the rebels might be shifting their front. Almost the entire Army of the Potomac will be at your disposal for this battle. A detachment uh, from the 6th Corps will reinforce. Uh, our line is stretched out and facing constant attack. We must take care to prevent gaps from forming in our line. If Benner Hill falls, we still have Culp's Hill and Wolf's Hill. We are really outnumbered. I hope I have artillery. Some artillery. There's another artillery we get. Cavalry doesn't have any artillery. Ugh, what does the Confederates have? Two corps coming against us. There's an artillery reserve. Ugh. It's four. Five. At least five. Six. And they got their cavalry. This is gonna be ugly. Pause. And I've never seen this map part of the map before. Well, I've seen parts of it, but yuck. Powder Hill. We have Benner's Hill. It looks like they have Culp's Hill. That is a huge artillery reserve. Oh, and tons of artillery down there. But, like, no infantry. Alright. You gotta take them on. Take on the Texas Brigade. Shell shot into the Texas Brigade. Their morale is depleted. Really depleted morale for these guys. I need some artillery on Benner's Hill. Let's take five. Push them up there. Let's deal with you four. Push you. Oh, don't do that. Push you right there. Lots of artillery. And let's get a Corps Commander up there on Benner's Hill. My morale is shot. This is going to be a disaster. I gotta try to get um, Texas Brigade out. Artillery is the only chance we have here. Take 
Take out that stone while we're good. Ugh. If that more Confederate cavalry spotted. Shot. That's the only chance we got. And that run. Canister shot's the only sh chance we got. Oh, uh, Custer, you're running away again. You are the worst. You're not hitting anybody with that shot. Yikes. This is a lot of artillery. Where's the rest? Oh, reinforcements. Thank God. Get up that hill. Where did they come from? Texas Brigade is getting wiped out, but our right is getting wiped out. Completely annihilated. These divisions have to run. Wow.
Okay. Anybody not gonna run off the battlefield here? We got three core commanders. I need them all on the line. Hold. Alright, I think the uh, Union Artillery held Culp's Hill, but we got completely overrun by Confederate Cavalry on Benner's Hill. And I don't have any artillery on my right. So let's bring Norton's artillery around. Green, you cover their flank. Whoa! That was a, uh, that's a mess in there. Look at that. A bloody mess. Custer. Still not helping. Oh my god. Another charge. They're taking heavy losses on that charge. Looks like they're trying to move to our right. Maybe not. All right, now the question is, can we push them off that hill? Hampton's Legion. I'm still worried about defending my positions. Forget about pushing them off the hill. Alright, let's see if we can get shell fire in here. Redirect. And push them back. Maybe I can sneak this commander back. Maybe you can grab a couple of them. You are in range for canister shot. I'm going to have you fall back, recuperate your morale, and get under cover, hopefully. That morale went right up pretty quickly once they fell back. That's a good sign. I think our artillery is definitely doing more damage than theirs, which is good. That'll force them to attack us complete their numbers, and then maybe we can retake the hill. We need to concentrate on specific battalions, one, one brigade at a time, in order to force them back, I think. Shell fire there. taking a lot of losses with that artillery fire. But they are taking losses. A lot of losses.
I was hurting. Alright, fall back. Get them to commit to a fight. Now they might charge us and then we get canister shot on them again. Our, mor our artillery should be pummeling their morale. Shot, we still have a canister shot with one or two of them. Switch the canister shot. Alright, looks like Stewart's division's wavering. Let's concentrate on Kemper. Pretty strong morale, not good cover. is taking heavy hits though. We're coming up on their flank. It's green. And let's bring Custer's detachment up there too. Good, that's the right Custer's detachment. Want the Custer's detachment with good morale going up there. Alright, take out that Legion. Good covers there. And I think we retook we've taken those woods. Kemper is trying a massive charge at our center. Canister shot. No, nope, they're not necessary. They are repulsed. Major cavalry charge into those woods. Our right flank is weak, but the left is very strong. A lot of artillery on the left. All right, let's take out Kemper. He's getting pummeled. But our right is getting uh, overrun here. Cancer shot. Are there Confederates here? I can't see. Looks like there are, and they're retreating. Looks like both of our guys are retreating. Kemper's brigade is getting annihilated. I'm worried we're going to lose this artillery brigade. I guess we can always bring in another brigade. We've got enough on this hill. Let's send that core commander up there. Alright, now we concentrate on Barksdale. Everybody fire at Barksdale. I'm gonna fall back with these guys. I don't like the position you're in. Not good coverage. And this artillery's falling back. We knew that was gonna happen. No artillery on the right. Relocate some positions. Barksdale's in withdrawal. Concentrate on Anderson. Nobody's in your range. Solid shot right down a Garnet line. 
That's kind of like enfilade fire. I wonder if that has an effect. Should have an effect. Enfilade fire goes right down the line. Which is a position that you want. If you can have enfilade fire down the enemy line, they will suffer a lot of casualties. This battle is going to end in six minutes. That might be a good thing. Because I think we took a lot of... I think we, well, we definitely took a lot of casualties, but I think we inflicted a lot, too. We lost the hill. We lost Benner's hill, but we held Culp's hill. And Wolf's hill. It said that in the description, but... There's no points for Wolf's, Wolf's hill. Three minutes. At least we didn't break. I think I have much better outcomes of draw. Interesting. Look at the uh, casualty difference. Though. I definitely held my ground much better there. Okay. That will put the Confederate losses, casualties, much higher than 58% casualties for the Confederates. Wow. Interesting. Battle of Gettysburg has ended. Outcome is a deadlock versus a cunning AI. Okay. I have a lot more victory points. Casualties are about even. All right, General, the battle has been driven to a stalemate, though we managed to inflict more casualties and win a sequence of small and large engagements. We failed to take the most important strategic, object, strategic ground from the rebels, and our supplies are not enough to press the attack further. Our army must withdraw to safer location before the rebels reinforce their positions. We will fight them again another time. Wow. Okay, that's the first time I had a draw. I usually win with the Union. But the cunning AI... When you do random, they tell you at the end what the AI is. I guess the cunning AI is pretty tough. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll probably be doing one with the Confederacy next. And uh, we'll see if I can uh, pull off a victory there. Thank you for watching.